Okay, so what ended me? Ended, ended. Do I look ugly? Why you want me to end it? What happened? Um, no bars. No bars is dropped somewhere in the world, around the world. People are just. Hey, baby. Um. I wanted to talk about something, but it, I, it slipped my mind. What the fuck I was, what I was talking about. Okay, so, I really want, I really, y'all making me shy. That's why I should have never re read a comment, because now I'm, like, shy to talk about what I was talking about. And I know I had something to talk about, something good to talk about. Now I'm just shy and mad and looking stupid, and that's why I don't go live. I don't go live because I'm really not that, um, as, as, um... Um, social as I think I am, I'm really not this. I love intimate, being social intimately, like small crowds. I can be funny as fuck, but like as soon as it get a lot of people, it's like I start tripping over my words. But I am actually funny as fuck. So we gonna just start there. I am actually funny as fuck. I just do not know how to be funny when I know somebody's waiting on me to be funny. You ain't you ain't ever trying to like when some when you trying to be funny. Okay, yeah, being them is home. Just got home, probably like. Five minutes ago, and I in a cage snoring. I fed them and put them in a cage because I am a mother first. So I had to get up live. But I am actually very funny and actually very, very nice. But I just do not know how to be funny when too many people um are looking. So, yeah. I am going to, since I'm so good at what I do, right? I am going, going to go in the studio. And I'm going to make another <laughs> song that I love so much. Two songs, shut the fuck up, I'm funnier than you. I'm going to go in the studio and I'm going to, um, um, I'm going to go back in the studio and I'm going to make another song. Um... Easily, because um, I don't know, like, when I had made no bars, right, I was so excited about this song. I was so, 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 so. It was so, it was so long ago, I can't even pinpoint the person. Like, I kind of kind of think I got an idea, but I cannot find this person's Instagram for whatever reason. It was like a fan, and um, that I was, at least a person that I thought was a fan. But, yeah, um, I sent it to a few people, and I was so excited about the song because it sounded so good, and it was so me. And this song so fucking old, right? And it was so old to the point that it's so funny how people is, or however you say it. And when somebody see you happy about something, confident about something, excited about something, they just want to just steal your joy. Like, God damn, you had that song sitting in your phone for months. You could have been did that. But it's fine. It's cool. I got most songs that I made that I like. Like, every song that I actually make is good songs, like, that I actually make, okay? They are good songs. I should be an A&R. I'm not overthinking. It ain't nothing to overthink. No bars was just supposed to be a song for the people, but. Uh, anyways. Uh, did, did I like my, um, Southern University performance. Yes, I did. I actually loved it. Oh my God, me and Carisha laughed so hard about the Southern um University performance, right? Let me tell y'all why we laughed so hard about the Southern University performance, right? Hey, Raven. Coming from under a rock. Yeah, always under a rock. We live under rocks. 
But anyways, yeah. So me and Carisha laughed so hard about the Southern University performance to the point it was just funny, right? Okay, so it was like kids to me, right? Because I'm older than I look. And usually I cannot see the fans' face. I cannot see how y'all look that much because, first of all, I'm blind. Second of all, y'all be a little far back. But this particular show in Baton Rouge, they were so close to us, I can actually see their face. So when I seen their face, it was like, they look like like little babies so I wanted to get open and show off but it was like I did not want to like I did not want to shake my ass or, or like do too much in front of the kids because I just felt like they looked so young so me and Carisha performing right so I look to the left this girl is so fucking funny right I look to the left Carisha is over there like turkey so I'm like like laughing in my head then she got a drink so she like, what, bitch? Like, what? And I'm like, bitch. So when I went to the, I told her something when we got off stage. And she was like, ooh, don't say that, right? I was like, you was giving. Mm -mm -mm. And she was like, ooh, don't say that. But it was just, it was just, a, that was a funny, funny, funny show. And I overthought thought that whole show. And I was so, like, nice to the, the, the um, fans that night because I was looking at them as little babies, like, like little kids. So I was like, oh, like, every time one of them be talking to me, I'd be like, oh, you know, like, Okay, you can get on stage. Oh yeah, you can you can record. But I was like, even I had did like sh like did like this, and I was like, oh, why would I do that in front of these kids? And like I was looking at them in their face, and when they was cussing, I was like, why y'all cussing? But our fans is like young, but it it's just, it was just weird because I never really get to see our face. So that show was good to me because it was an intimate show. I was like real close to y'all and y'all was acting a motherfucking fool and i was like y'all y'all so young and um it was just funny like it was just funny carisha even really did the don't stop pop that pop the detour dance and i was like why would you do that girl um yes like it was just like it, i instantly turned into a mother at that show i instantly turned into a mom at that show um I was like, what in the fuck? Like, I like I love the kids. I even said, before getting off the stage, I was like, um, make sure y'all get good grades. And the kids was looking at me like, bitch, what? Make sure we get good grades. Like, what are you talking about, girl? And, like, I'm like, make sure y'all get good grades. Y'all like kids. But, yeah, that was just a funny show. But I just, I just love the kids. Like, I just be wanting y'all to understand it. Like, you know. But it's the type of music I put out. So, you know, whatever. But that was a funny show. That's just like something. They even made me do first day out at that fucking show. And I was like, you know what? I got a soft spot for kids. Like, I do not care what's out in the media. Like, I do not give a fuck what nobody say about me. Like, y'all can say I'm a bitch. I'm mean. I'm this, I'm that. I swear to you, like, I have the most generous heart, generous heart ever. And when I see, like, young people, like, you know, teenagers, college kids, those are college kids. Um, I be so happy and so proud because that's what's up. Like, stay in school. Um, did I chip my veneer? No. I, I, okay. You know what? Y'all bitches on this internet is so fucking rude. I did not even mean to read that comment. That, you ever read a comment, read something, and you ain't supposed to read it? Like, no, I did not fucking chip my veneer. My teeth, my natural teeth were had a little chip to it, right? So I guess the dentist wanted my teeth to stay like natural looking. Um and they kept my, my chip that was on my natural teeth right there. Like it, it's um it was like, yes, rest in peace, Dola. I miss my dog, Dola, but anyways, my teeth got still got the little natural chip that it had before. So why the fuck would you ask me did I chip my veneer? No, I did not chip my veneer. My dentist should have just put the the teeth, the made it look fake, but they wanted to keep it looking at you. And don't ask me no more questions. Why would the dentist do that? I don't know. It look it don't look bad. Mm. Yeah, I'm getting off this live.
because y'all don't know what to ask people. Y'all don't be knowing what to say. Anyways, and another reason I don't like to go live is because it be so hard for me to, um, it be so hard for me to, like, talk like I normally, like, my real voice on live. Like, you know, like, as soon as the camera start recording us these days, I don't know if it's, like, starting to get programming us. We started talking very proper. Like, um, you guys, today I went to Whole Foods and I, um, you know, I sent my dogs off with their, their, um, sitter. And then I, I went to Whole Foods to find a few things that can substitute soda because I love soda. And, um, I also went, um, to Barnes & Noble to look for a book and that did not work out because I don't even have the attention span or the time. Um, but I do want to get more into reading books realistically when I am ready. I also, um, my, 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 I got lunch at Whole Foods. Yeah. Because y'all probably won't even understand. Raven, why you just keep book bothering me? Like, yeah, it's the interview talk. Like, okay, we're gonna call it the interview talk. When I get on, even when I try to record myself and make a video, it just give interview talking. And it's like, it's the professional thing. Melissa. talk regularly i cannot talk i can never get on here and really talk like it's so hard let me see let me see if i can talk how i really talk i'm gonna try i'm gonna try <laughs> the thought of me even talking how i talk on here like I, I i don't know if i'm doing it right now let me see yeah my name is jt because like for real dead ass like don't a bitch got me fucked up like what? How what? Bitches be real like. Mm mm. I don't fuck with hoes at all. Like not even a little bit. Mm mm. It just be me and my motherfucking dogs. Cause at the end of the motherfucking day, it's like I say fifty customers in one sentence. They don't not even go there. Okay, let me see. Ask me a question. Ask me a question. I'm gonna answer it how I really talk. It's always bitch, hoe, and all type of shit when I talk. So I just try to be as professional or just stay off live. Let me see. My face is gained so much weight on Twitter. I like a pork. Like, oh, God. Raven. My family is somewhere. My fam my my family, my my <laughs> girl girl. Don't ask me about my family on this live, okay? Okay, so let me say something else. Like I have been off Twitter. I'm trying to stay off of Twitter. I really wanted to leave my Twitter, but my laptop been dead. Like, I really wanted to leave my Twitter. And the reason I wanted to leave my Twitter is because I feel like... Mm. 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 Wait. 
till I catch you on that tour, you're getting dragged, per. Thank God I'm off tour, because I do not want to get dragged, baby. Yeah. Y'all really like the FNF remix. And I swear to God, like, I thought that was just, like, the weakest verse I put out. And I was so nervous about, I mean, not put out. Like, I thought it was, like, the weakest verse ever. And I did not want to want to put it out because I was so nervous y'all was gonna hate it and y'all actually like it I did not think it was that good but y'all actually like it and thank you thank you very much for that I have not yet to be in a club and hear, hear like not here but I have not yet to really get in the club and like sing that verse because I don't I'm, I, I gotta get back outside like I gotta get back more it's hard baby ain't no more free funds going around so it's like outside be so dry talk to your real friends jt fuck them haters hey real fans hold up stop the beat i'm a motherfucking city girl <laughs> okay i'm gonna get off live because i don't got shit to talk about for real I had something to talk about, but I do not want to talk about it no more because y'all made me nervous as soon as I got on the live. So I'm going to act like I ain't talking. I'm, I'm, I'm going to act like it is non-existent. I do not doubt myself. I'm just a perfectionist. Like, what part? Okay, things about JT. Okay, everybody was leaving because they thought I was leaving, so that's good. I wish it could only be like five of us on this live. But anyways... Stop doubting myself. I hate when people tell me to stop doubting myself. Sometimes everybody, everybody in the world has doubts. Like we all have doubts. It's only human to like, you know, sometimes be nervous or sometimes um, be afraid or like it's only human. I think that I have a certain vulnerable, vulnerable, it's, I know the word I'm trying to say, but it's so hard to get it off my tongue because I talk with a but I'm very vulnerable sometimes. So sometimes I say more than I should or, you know, but I'm not afraid of my own self at all. Like I know that I have hella talent. It's just that I am a perfectionist and I want everything to be perfect. Like I could be thinking of a plan. I want that plan to be executed. So I just don't rush things. So when I say don't not doubt yourself, like you doubt yourself too. Um, we all doubt ourselves, but that does not mean that we are less, like, you know. So just relax. Mama, I'm sorry. I cannot feel my body. That is my, one of my favorite songs of all time. People used to be fake confidence. They don't. Yeah, something like, um. I am very confident in certain areas, but when you when stuff means so much to you, you um you care about how it how, how about it like everybody is their own biggest critic. Now, why y'all want to know about my scammer days? I have not. I have changed my life. I have gave my life to the Lord. Okay, I'm going to get up live. I'm going to talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.